Trump has won again. We had a reprieve for four years and now he's back. What does that mean? Who knows? It's going to be a huge difference in immigration. It's going to be a huge difference in immigration courts, in family. What it means for our country. Good to be here and be back. When it comes to immigration, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are worlds apart. Trump has echoed the words of Adolf Hitler, claiming that immigrants are poisoning the blood of the United States. And it's true. They're destroying the blood of our country. That's what they're doing. They're destroying our country. While Harris has shown empathy for asylum seekers. Most people don't want to leave home. And when they do, it is usually because either they are fleeing some type of harm or they cannot take care of the simple and basic needs of their family by staying where they are. It's estimated there are some 11 million people living illegally in the U.S., 7 million of whom are known to the government. During his first term as president, Trump enacted travel bans on Muslim-majority countries, implemented a policy of separating children from their families at the southern border, and made some advances reinforcing a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. But if he's elected to a second term, Trump and his allies are promising to go much further, vowing to facilitate mass deportations, using the U.S. military to round up millions of immigrants and send them back to their countries of origin. And they do come from prisons and mental institutions, and they are terrorists, and we're going to be paying a price, and it'll be the largest deportation in the history of our country. For her part, Kamala Harris has tried to focus on what she calls root causes of the immigration crisis. As vice president, she traveled to countries such as Guatemala, where she came under some criticism from progressives in her party when she warned would-be migrants that they would be turned back at the border. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Although it was an issue in her portfolio, Republicans have falsely claimed that Harris served as President Biden's border czar. But they have correctly pointed to a record number of illegal crossings of the U.S.-Mexico border in the last three years. However, those numbers have plunged dramatically since June, when President Biden issued an executive order to effectively shut the border to migrants seeking asylum when crossings exceed 2,500 per day. In this video, we take a look at some of these reactions from people all around the world when Donald Trump won the U.S. election. Now, Donald Trump is the president-elect for the United States of America and come January 2025, he will be sworn in as the 47th president of the United States of America. Now, one of his policies was mass deportation, that he was going to deport illegal immigrants in the United States of America. So this has called for a lot of concern for people all around the world. And Jamaicans have also shared their reaction to the news that Donald Trump is the president elect. So let's watch some of these reactions from around the world and we'll come back here and discuss further about it but before we watch these reactions if you haven't yet liked this video kindly like the video and also subscribe to the channel let's watch the videos together it says mass deportations Biden. now Whoa. mass deportations Again. now Inter that is the kind of policy that Different. is alarming Different. even cruel even on american to folks on the left and that is the intended effect someone i spoke President to just a moment ago said Understood. it's going to make heads Biden. explode and you may Biden. wonder is that where the republican party Biden. is today i did a little digging Biden. i can tell you from my reporting during the primary season talking to voters the the answer is absolutely yes. And the answer from pollsters is absolutely yes. Three out of four Republicans want immigration to decline in America, and they believe that immigration brings in drugs, brings in crime, and makes the economy worse, even, quote, reduces social and moral values. On top of that, a full 80 percent of Republicans, according to CBS News' own polling, agree with Donald Trump when he says that illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of the country. After Donald Trump's victory, thousands of Americans are planning to pack their bags and move abroad. Google search data shows U.S. citizens are actively researching how to move to Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. 
Among these people could be Hollywood celebrities like Sharon Stone, Cher, and Jimmy Kimmel, all of whom declared they would leave the country rather than live under a second Trump presidency. Our next report brings you more. President-elect Donald Trump's victory wasn't a happy ending for everyone after all. While some saw his re-election as a personal win, others expressed fear about America's future and declared the Republicans' triumph a war on women. With Donald Trump set to begin his second presidency next January, scores of Americans are now planning to pack their bags and move to a different country. Recent Google search data shows just that. Americans are worried about Trump's apparent threat to democracy and are now showing interest in moving to Canada, New Zealand and Australia. As the polls closed in the US East Coast on Election Day, Google searches for move to New Zealand jumped nearly 2,000 percent. That too, only within 24 hours. Meanwhile, a similar search for Canada surged over 1,200 percent and the one for Australia climbed over 800 percent. A Google official says that after the president-elect's win, searches about migrating to these three countries hit an all-time high. America's very same sentiment was also reflected upon New Zealand's immigration website. The site recorded around 25,000 new US-based users the day Donald Trump delivered his victory speech. The same day last year, only 1,500 Americans visited the website. Among the people planning to move abroad is a host of Hollywood celebrities who, before the election, went as far as to declare that they would rather leave than live under Trump's rule. One of them is singer and actor Cher, who said she almost got an ulcer the last time Trump won. Another is actor Sharon Stone, who is considering a house in Italy. Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner also said that if Trump returns to power, she will get out and move to her home country, the United Kingdom. Actor America Ferreira too is planning to start a new life with her husband in the United Kingdom. After the results, a teary-eyed TV host Jimmy Kimmel also talked about packing up and exiting the United States, adding a comedic tone to an otherwise serious sentiment. Of course, it's too early to predict how many Americans will actually move abroad and how many will decide to brave a second Trump presidency. But what we do know is that Donald Trump is back and this time with a more powerful mandate. And now shifting focus to the southern border with Mexico where hundreds of migrants are abandoning their journey towards the United States. The caravan, which began earlier this week with around 3,000 migrants, has now dwindled to just half after Donald Trump won re-election. We wanted to get to the United States. Now that Trump won, we do not know what to do. May it be God's will, since we are taking this course, that we have to arrive, even if it is to knock on the door, to see if they open it for us. I don't know what to do anymore, because we left a very terrible regime. Returning to Venezuela is like being shot in the head. Donald Trump doesn't like Latinos. Donald Trump said he was going to remove all Latinos from the United States, a massive deportation. So now it's going to be harder to get in. There are going to be new laws, new regulations, new rules, and now it's going to be harder for us Latinos to get there. In his winning speech, the president-elect reiterated his commitment to seal the borders, insisting that only legal immigration would be allowed. The president-elect's plan could further impose limitations on Biden-era programs like humanitarian parole and temporary protected status that temporarily allow some migrants to remain in the United States. We have a country that needs help, and it needs help very badly. We're going to fix our borders. We're going to fix everything about our country. And we made history for a reason. For migrants who use social media platforms like Telegram to track the U.S. immigration policies, the election outcome has dampened their hopes severely. Several expressed frustration, with some saying 
that had there been a woman president like Claudia Scheinbaum, their lives would take a different trajectory. I wanted them to elect a woman in the United States elections just as we did here. That way they would have seen eye to eye because Mr. Trump is arbitrary misogynist, racist. Now, throughout the campaign, Donald Trump vowed to complete his border wall and deport millions of illegal immigrants. He's even promised to hire an additional 10,000 Border Patrol agents and impose tougher restrictions on asylum. So in order to meet the goal of hiring 10,000 new agents, we need the agents. We, have to, we need them badly. And keeping our incredible veteran agents on the force. Don't leave us! A post-election YouGov survey shows that Donald Trump has the support of 53% of Americans on immigration matters, compared to just 45% for Vice President Kamala Harris. As of now, the reality for migrants remains uncertain as they weigh their next steps, with many deciding to give up on their chances of crossing into the United States. Hello and welcome to this special edition of Vantage, live from the White House. America is Trump country again. He will be the 47th president of the United States of America. They're live from the White House, soon to be the new residence of Donald Trump. It was also here that Donald Trump brokered the Abraham Accords. So the voters have a legitimate question in their minds. If those presidents could do it, why not Joe Biden? The Arab voters want to punish the Democrats for supporting Israel. Joe Biden's shadow looms large over this election and Kamala Harris may end up paying the price for it. This Trump hat, it says, President Trump save America. But this hat is made in China. And this is the Chinese interference that Americans must be investigating. But off late, Donald Trump and the Republicans have made some gains. And the biggest reason for that is illegal immigration. This is more than just a march, they say. This is a demand for accountability. The excitement, the tension is palpable. You can see the security presence. You can see the number of police cars, government buildings like these again, again fenced up. We are at Harvard University, the alma mater of Kamala Harris. As the night progressed, uh, numbers came in thick and fast and Donald Trump was soon declared the winner. It's been called a historic comeback. Another American presidency will begin. In Donald Trump's case, his second one. War comeback. So in this video, we looked at reactions from around the world towards the election of the United States that is Donald Trump being elected as the 47th president of the United States. So come January 2025, he will be sworn in as the president of the United States and he will take charge and be at the helm of affairs of the United States of America. Now, a lot of people are expressing concern as regards one of his policies that is mass deportation. Now, a lot of people have been trying to move to the United States and people have moved there in very great numbers. There are a lot of people who are living illegally in the United States of America and Donald Trump says that when he assumes office, one of his policies was to deport illegal immigrants living in the United States of America. So a lot of people are quite worried about these. Now, the Democrats, on the other hand, did not really put in a lot of strict measures to prevent immigrants from coming to the United States. That is not to say that there were no measures at all. There were a lot of measures, but it wasn't so strict like that. But what that of Donald Trump, he says that he's going to engage in mass deportation. That is deport a lot of immigrants, illegal immigrants in the United States of America, because he says they are poisoning the blood of the United States because they are the people who bring in drugs, other negative habits and worsen the economy. So he's going to deport a lot of them. So now that he has won the seat as the president elect for the United States of America, a lot of people are having mixed reactions towards this. Whereas some people are happy that he has won and become the president of the United States because they expect him to be able to deport a lot of these illegal immigrants in the United States. Some people are also not 
so happy about it. I believe illegal immigrants in the United States are not so happy about it. And also people who are around the United States, that is the US-Mexico border, and would also like to cross and enter the United States of America are not happy in the sense that in the coming months after he has been sworn into office as the 47th president of the United States of America, he is going to deport a lot of them. So this has sent a lot of shockwaves through the internet and people are discussing this a lot. Now, there are a lot of people from various countries who are in the United States of America and Jamaicans are no exceptions. So Jamaicans are also talking about this mass deportation that the president-elect wants to embark on in order to rid the United States of illegal immigrants who are in the United States. So Jamaicans have also shared their views, their opinions about it, even though a lot of them are not happy about this policy in the sense that some people may be affected by this and they may be brought in back to their country when Donald Trump is sworn in as the president of the United States of America. Let me know what you also think about this policy in the comment section below. Do you think mass deportation in the United States of America is something that is good and is going to help the United States since these people want to live there illegally? Or do you think it is not bad and every person should be allowed to move into the United States of America? Share your thoughts and opinions about this and let me know. And also, there are some celebrities in Hollywood and who reside in the United States of America who made a statement or statements that they cannot live under the presidency, the second term presidency of Donald Trump. And as a matter of fact, they would want to leave the country if Donald Trump wins the election and he has won the election. So these people are thinking of leaving the United States of America to other parts of the world, like the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and other areas. So the Google search results show that search from the United States on how to relocate from the United States to other countries have surged up about 2,000%, some of them 2,500%. And some people would like to also leave the United States of America. So don't you think that this will also create room for people who have also migrated in the United States of America so that this mass deportation may probably not be something that will be needed. Let me know what you think about all these in the comment section below. Share your general thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section below and share your expectations about the presidency of Donald Trump if you are in the United States of America. Share this video to your friends and your family and on all social media platforms like X, Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok, and other social media platforms. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just click the subscribe button down here click on the subscribe button, click as well on the notification bell, and I'd like to see you again in my next video.